I'll try to abbreviate it. Um, I um, wrote the script in 1996 and I uh, began getting it out to um, producers and actors and um, um, had uh, producers who got financing in place um, early on. Um, and then I went, uh, got a, le a letter to Robin. Actually, I went, I tried to get the script to her and her agent said, there's absolutely no way she'll do this film. And I said, oh, would you please get her a letter? And they said, no. Um, and I had a friend at the same agent, with the same agent, who said, come on, just get Robin the letter. And, uh, the letter got to Robin and Robin read the letter and she agreed to read the script and then she agreed to do the film. Um, we connected on a very deep level um, uh, through the story, and she became really one of my greatest allies. She was just uh, battling every battle with me and was extraordinary. Um, after she was attached to the project, the financing fell through at the 11th hour. We had our locations set. Actually, the locations we ended up using were set 12 years ago. Um, and, um, you know, the financing fell through because the investors wanted us to take the rape scene out, and I wouldn't. Um, so then Robin continued to help try to put money together, and we had financing in place four years in a row, and every year at the last minute, literally the 11th hour, it would fall through for the same reason. Um, and then after the fourth um, year of it falling through, I, I called her and I said, Robin, I've got to make my first film or I'm going to die. Can, I've got this other script, I'm going to shoot it for $50,000 on video, will you do it with me? And she said yes and flew herself out to New York and stayed in the Holiday Inn. And we shot the film uh, for $65,000 and we thought, well, here we go after you know, it was nominated for its awards and won some. We thought, this is it. Now I'm no longer a first-time director, which was a stumbling block. I'm an award-winning director, and we're going to go get this film made. And once again, we just couldn't get the financing in place. And um, I continued, really, working hard at, at trying to get the money together. And at a certain point, I had some producers say, what about Dakota Fanning? And she'd just done War of the Worlds, and I said, well, um, sure, of course, but we're never going to get her. Um, and they said, well, Deborah, write one of your letters. So, <laughs> and we sent the script out, and, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't actually think about it again. You know, there are, those, there are those things you hope for that you, like, you know, write on a piece of paper and put in your little silver box and, you know, Oprah, please call. But um, <laughs> I, I didn't even put Dakota's name in the box, you know. And it, it was not a possibility in my mind, and I continued going about my business trying to get the money, and I got a call two months later saying, Dakota wants to do this project. Will you fly out tomorrow to meet her? And it was, uh, yes. And I went out, and um, the moment I met her, I knew that she was it. And um, it was... She loved this character um, as much as I loved her, and it was like we reached across the desk and took each other by the hand and walked into this world together, and a very difficult world together, and did not let go until we got to the other side. And it was an extraordinary uh, journey with her. But it took another nine months after I got her attached. The investors could not get the money with Dakota attached. Uh, we had to push and push again and push again and we would get investors in place and you know they want to take the rape scene out and now I had the fanning saying you don't touch the script the rape scene stays in and it was great to have that support but we just could not find the money with Robin Wright Penn, Dakota Fanning, you know it was we could not find the money and um, every time we had to push it was just very painful for Dakota and for me and um, at a certain point, her agent called and said, look, this is really killing her. She can't keep, we can't keep pushing. Either you start, you know, May 15th pre-production, or we're going to move on, and um, we're not coming back because she can't keep doing this to her heart. She won't read another script. You know, she had been working three days a week with her voice coach. She'd been working twice a week with her movement coach, once a week with her uh, acting coach. I'd flown out, we'd rehearsed for a week, um, we had a daily correspondence. Um, it was an incredible nine months, but it was enough already. And um, 
we had an investor who had committed to put the money in. Um, he told Dakota's lawyer the money was coming in. And so the Thursday before that Monday, we had to start pre-production. I got in the car and um, with my daughter and drove to Wilmington. And a half hour outside Wilmington, I got the call um, from the investor saying he was not going to finance the film.